Good evening. My name is Anastasia Rivers. I'm a retired police officer from the Virgin Island Police Department. I served 23 years with the police department and I'm retired going on 13 years. I'm here to speak up about the operation of the police department when it comes to providing information to the media. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I, I hear, I read about comments that the department is not providing adequate information to certain media. And I want to share how it works. When I first joined, I was a 911 dispatcher for one year. And what they did at that time is every report that come in, every call that comes into 911, it was handwritten in a bladder, the time received, and we put the classification. Now, um, when it comes to a missing person or a criminal a stolen vehicle, the dispatchers, which I was one, we put it out first thing in the morning, because we come in and, say for instance, we work the eight o'clock shift. The shift for the police officer comes in for seven. So by eight o'clock, we put out the APB on missing person, stolen vehicle, um, warrants, what have you, and, and it's put out there. Now when we finish at four, before we finish at four, we put out the same information again, unless a new one come in. So when the next shift, the, three to let the seven to three come in, the next shift is coming on, the police officers will get that information, so it overlaps. So the same information goes out six times a day from 911. We go a little further. When the media wants any information that comes in there, first thing in the morning or in the evening, most of them come in the evening when it's quiet down, to get the bladder, they read it from the day before where they last left off and they take notes of the report that they came in and they will take notes of anything irregular and if they see anything irregular, they will call the chief office to get more information on it. So why I'm bringing this up too is because there's so much talk about these missing people, which I know, I'm sorry, and I, I, my heart goes out to families that have missing family that they haven't heard from or heard anything of, but police officers, the department resource is very limited. We don't have enough resource. So the search has to stop at some point because we have, not to say we don't care, and I say we because once a police, always a police. And the, the, like the search has to stop because we have other priorities and certain things that's going on that the officers have to investigate. Uh, we, the, the, the report is passed on to the investigation bureau, but again, especially since the hurricane, um, we, the, the department was piled up with a lot of cases. But when the, um, when the media checked the blatter, they ask for information. If they see a particular um, report that they're curious about, they will call and ask information. It's not that the department has to call them and tell them everything that's coming in and whatnot, because then we will never finish what we're doing. And, and I, I think the process was good and nothing was wrong with it. Now, five years before I retired, I came back and I worked as supervisor for 911. For those five years, the process stayed the same. We had, they had handwritten blotter where all the, all the cards that came in was written in the blotter and put out the APB and it's also in roll call. They have pictures in the roll call for the police officers of anything particular that stands out that especially the most recent missing person, stolen vehicle, and, and, and what have you, and any criminal activity and warrant. But even though they get that information, the dispatchers still put that information out to 911. I mean, to the officers, sorry, to the officers that come out, and the officers that um, relieving shift come in. So I, I, I decided to come out because I, I just, read things and it, it making the department look like they're incompetent and that's not the case. 
that department feed me and my children. I work, I got paid, yes, but that, that agency supported me all my years in the police department. And it hurts me to, to listen and read to people bashing this department. This is a thankless job. The same people that bash police officers are the same one got to call 911, and the same police that they bashing got to come out and help you. So I need to ask you all to give the police officers a little slack, cut some slack on them. If we have some good, good officers, we have bad officers. Deal with the ones that are having the issues, but don't, don't bash the police department in a hole. Now, I'm gonna go back to how the department start to run after a while with the, when it comes to calls. Um, while I was a supervisor 911, I decided to change the system from using the handwritten blotter and I asked Ofari Benjamin that was in there at the time to assist me in setting up a system where all the information we receive goes directly into the computer and it don't have to be handwritten. So since we had it set that way, I set a separate room aside for when the media come in and they want to see the calls that were received to just go to the computer and they, get, they see all the calls that come in and they take notes of what they feel is relevant to give information to the public. And that's how they did it. And if they see anything particular, they will call the chief office. If anything um, irregular is, is a report is coming that is irregular, they call something that um, unusual occurrence. That's written, and that information is written by the supervisor for each shift, and they send it to the chief office and the chief office sent it to the commissioner and that's where it goes out to the media, unusual occurrence. But the media, I don't know what they do now since they went to um, 911 is now under Vitima, I don't know the operation or anything. But if they're not getting access to the bladder, I think the best way to do it is go to Vitima to get the information because Vitima received the call first. Then the, the, the police department are dispatched to the case and then the information is passed on to the police department. So to get all the information that comes in right away, go to, go to Vitima. Get the information because that's public record. Don't hold the department hand in the fire for a call that comes into our agency before it goes to the police department. So I'm asking the public to understand how it works. And if I am making any errors in what I said, I stand corrected, somebody have to come forward and I'll bring you on the show to tell me any difference so I could share with the public. But that information that comes into 911, the, the media, instead of sitting in their office, waiting for the police to call them, come in and check the bladder and get that information. I know they have press release or press conference, come to the press conference and what have you, but don't make it sound like the years back, some of the years that they talk about missing person, I was supervising around that time, so it's impossible that that report didn't go out. Every report that come out, every missing person report that came out, the officers, the dispatchers send it out, and the officers then get the, the, um, the, 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 a, the APB call. And when the um, dispatchers put out the APB, they write down the information and the time and date they send it out. So there's a lot of records that's there that is, is, is probably piled up and it's hard to get it because back then it was handwritten. But since 2007, all cards that came in, uh, I must say no, since 2004, all cards that came in was put inside the system that is in the computer. And everything else until I retire in 2007, I can't speak for what happened after then. And I would like somebody, I would invite somebody from Vitima that's in charge of 911 to come in and, and set the record straight if, if the media have access to the computer to get all the calls in so that they will get the information first and start bashing the department. I'm, I'm taking it very personal because, like I said, this is the place that, that take care of me and my family. I raised my three children off of this salary. And even though I got bashed from certain people, they see me now and they respect me. 
as an individual because I did my job. And we have a lot of good officers doing their job. I'm uh, getting a little emotional, so I'm going to stop right here and ask you again to cut the police department some slack. They're working really hard, you know? Thank you.